welcome to another video from Igni. Uh, today we will be going in and looking at the New Baron Special Lens and what I think of them, pretty much a first impression video and I'll explain why here in, in a little bit. Uh, but before we get into that, as usual, this video is sponsored by Deutz. There will be a link and a description down below of how you can go and fully use this discount to get anywhere from 5 to 40% off all in-game purchases when you use my code Ignite5. All that info will also be on the screen right now, as well as the promo code in the top right and the sponsorship column. Now in the description below, there will also be a link to my Discord, which is a community tool. Lots of great people there that can answer questions, and there's also ways to be able to find out that information regarding the um, sponsor as well. But anyway, let's get right into it. So I, I've been waiting to release this video for quite a while because I really wanted to be able to at least be facing people that had these ants to be able to kind of have a better grasp of um, how they work and whatnot. But despite it being almost two months now, I've still yet to see anybody with them. So I kind of have to do this as a reactions video. So that's what we're going to go in and do. Um, I have managed to obtain one of them. So that is the first one we will go ahead and talk about. Now, I am going to try to say these names and I am going to absolutely butcher them. So bear with me. Probably not how, what they are at all, but might as well give you all a good laugh. All right. So this one, uh, Procry. Porosaurus alderazi? I don't even know what the hell. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, it's a melee guardian. Um, so right off the bat, that tells you that it's really meant to be like in the front um, line. We'll go through that. That's the normal uh, things. The only thing that's a little different is when it reaches a one star. Um, normal attack damage will go up. All right, so the first one. Uh, in the first three rounds, the squads enter strong guard status, unable to launch normal attacks, but significantly reduce the damage taken by 50%. So that's kind of big, especially like in PvP. Um, as you know, your, your first line is typically the first one that is hit. So for a Guardian March, this, is, this would almost be like the old Banshee Panda of way long ago if people have been playing that long they they know what i'm talking about um the difference is is that instead of also being able to dish out damage like the old banshee panda was able to do this will only be for a de defense matter um but still even then 50 percent damage reduction for the first three rounds is pretty big but right there that tells you right away that this is going to be a support ant. It's not going to be a DPS ant, so that pretty much automatically knocks it out from being of any use in PvE, and this is going to be purely a PvP ant. Alright, so basic, basic. Alright, uh, effective range 3 has 50% chance to deal 220% damage plus special ant level 1% uh, damage to one random enemy squad and silence them for one round. Again, not because it's damage, but because it has the chance of being able to silence now on top of having damage reduction. That's pretty big. That's like uh, kind of like mixing Giant Tooth and Banshee Panda now. So that's really good. I mean, I could see this being of quite some use um, in Guardian Shooter Shooter Marches, um, as well as just pure Guardian Marches. All right, Guardian at Health. All right, effective range three. Uh, and number two, four, six rounds deals 300% damage plus special ant level damage to two random enemy squads. And if they are under control, increases the damage taken by them uh, by 30% for two rounds. Again, still support because if you are able to land a silence on them, or if you're running Rootmaster, it lands another silence on them. Um, if you have any kind of control on there, then it's going to increase the damage. Um, to them and it says increases the damage taken by them so I would assume that that means that your other ants that you would have in your squad or in your unit would still um, count for that increased damage so that's pretty huge 
Um, overall, I would say that this is a, a very good ant, um, both for Guardian Shooter Shooter and for Guardian Frontline. All right, now let's get into the ones I do not have. Harry Panther, the ranged Guardian. Right off the bat tells us that this is probably gonna be like a mid row to back row uh, ant. Going to the first one. Okay, pretty normal. All right, um, it has a, it has a range of five, has a 60% chance to deal 350% damage to their enemy squad with the highest power and a 60% chance to suppress them, causing them to be unable to move for one round. So paired with the ant that I had just talked about, there right there, you have two controls that will increase the damage. Um, plus you have a pretty decent chance to be able to activate this skill as well as um, suppressing them. So you you got some uh, possibilities there for sure. Pretty normal, pretty normal. Uh, range of five. And number one, three, five, seven has 60% chance to deal 350 uh, damage to all enemy squads. So right there between this one is round based, so that means every other one, every odd number round, um, you have you will be able to do possibility of doing 60% uh, chance of doing 350%. Then paired with that one, which is also another 60% 350. That's pretty good. Uh, Guardian and attack, and then last one, effective range of five, deals 350% uh, damage to one uh, random enemy squad each round. If the target is under control, increases damage to 450. Wow. Plus special ant level 1%. So, again, paired with the ant that I just previously, previously mentioned, where it also has an increased damage. If I'm correct in, in thinking that the other ants in your squad also have that increased damage, not only are you having an additional 150% damage just from this skill alone, and you're no matter what hitting them for that much damage every round, plus being able to suppress them, plus being able to silence them. Um, that's pretty insane. So if, if you look at it like using the uh, the first ant that we covered, I'm not gonna try to butcher its name again, and then this ant in second line, and then say Leaf Devourer in the third, that's a completely free to play lineup that is insanely powerful um definitely puts uh free to play guardians back on the board if you manage to be able to get these ants Alrighty, let's go into the next one all right moving to some shooters oh god golly okay uh jala uh, dolly chodorous bis bonuses i don't know uh <laughs> all right first one's normal <clears throat> uh, effective range of two. First three rounds, all of our shooter and squads attack plus 100%. Normal attack plus 125. Okay, so that's kind of like a kind of like a nimble tree amp or a, a crimson pearl um, with being able to boost the attack. And not, I mean, decent for PVE, but PVP is kind of a meh without that combat speed. All right, uh, next one, in the first three rounds, all of our shooter squads have a 90% to enter splash damage the, in uh, splash status. The normal attack will do, uh, will deal 100 plus special land damage to two other enemy squads. Okay. So, that's kind of nice, especially if you already have um, splash damage from, uh, which insect is it? Um... Golly, I can't remember off the t Oh, uh, uh, Devil Flower gives you the splash damage. So if you have that already, plus you're able to add the splash damage from this, then you could stack up some decent um, splash damage. Health, effective range five. Uh, first three rounds, our front line enters counterattack status. When receiving no a normal attack, has a 100% chance to counterattack. Dealing 240 plus special ant level damage to the attacker. Okay, well, that's nice. I mean, that does basically mean that even if you don't have the combat speed and you're not the one striking first, which 
often with shooter, you're trying to be the one that hits first so you can try to knock them out. You do still have um, some recourse. So overall, I mean, I'm not uh, overly, through, I wouldn't say that this ant would be overpowered, but I would say it's a, probably a solid unit one um, ant that you could use on the front line. Um, of course, I'd have to fight against it to see because I might be completely wrong. All right, next one. Weaver, support shooter. Uh, pretty normal. All right, effective range two. Has a 70% chance to trigger. Removes negative status, poison, exhausted, etc. from two random squads and increases their defense and health by 31%. Per well, I'm sorry, let me read the other one. Has an 85% chance to trigger. Removes negative status, poison, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and increases their defense and health by 40% for two rounds. That's big for shooters because the hardest thing for shooters is health. Um, and also with being countered like that, um, for shooters, they're meant to be glass cannons. So they're really meant to get in and get out. So that, that's a, this is like an equivalency to having uh, ghost for carriers where you can remove the negative status. All right, next one. Um, in the first three rounds, the combat speed of two random shooter squads plus 90% has a 100% uh, percent chance to take double hit, attacking normal attacks twice plus one. Combos cannot be stacked. Okay, the normal attack, that's whatever. Um, not really a big deal. But that combat speed, it's increasing 90%. So this putting into like a nimble tree plus having the ability to be able to take away negative effects on your ants. That's pretty big. That's going to be a huge support ant. Sure, ants defense. Ah, uh, kind of lost me there. Um, let's see. Uh, effective range four. Each uh, each time when two random enemy squads take damage, the damage they take will increase by twenty percent. Can be stacked to eighty percent. Okay. So the okay. So now. <laughs> Now it's getting into like a mix between Nimble, Crimson Pearl, um, and Ghost, and essentially. Uh, overall, definite ant that I want to get because um, this is going to be a pretty game changing um, support ant for shooter. All right, um, and now we're getting into the carriers. Oh boy, uh, Strumaginius. Agisseri. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> pretty normal there. Uh, during the battle, greatly increased 75 skill damage but, uh, dealt by all carrying squad while reduced 50% normal attack damage. Okay, so the way the combat math works is if you re you're reduced, if, you, if your normal attack is reduced by 50%, but your skill damage is increased by 75%. So what that does is because your skill damage is a, is a base derivative of your your normal attack, your normal damage, etc. So if say you have 100k normal attack, it gets reduced down 50%. So your baseline for your skill damage is only going to be 50%. So they really should have worded this differently because the increased skill damage is only really 25%. Um, which is still alright, but kind of underwhelming uh, in his squad dodge rate plus 25 percent that's nice uh, duh, duh. carrying a health that's always good for carriers all right uh, effective range two in the number two four six there's a 60 percent chance to increase the chance of uh, triggering the fifth skill of two random carrier squads to 100 percent the skill requires preparation there's an 80% chance to skip one round of preparation. Okay, so that's nice. So this is kind of like a, a dusky lurker for carriers. Um, I, I would say it, it does have some use in PvP, but I would kind of, I would lean this one more to be for um, PvE over PvP, um, just because it gives the increase 25%. Uh, and then with this has a chance of triggering the fifth skill of two random again, which the fifth skill for carries is 
typically the strongest skill. So, eh, I'm underwhelmed. Alrighty, and we're getting into the last one. Graceful Twig Ant. I think out some of these didn't have scientific names that nobody can pronounce. Anyway, let's see. First one. Effective range 4. 50% chance to deal 225 plus special ant level damage to two random enemy squads, reducing their attack and defense by 30% for two rounds. Okay, so unless you're, you're facing um, guardians, the defense isn't really much of a matter, but if you're facing shooters or another carrier, reducing their attack by 30% is pretty good, um, plus it does damage. 50% chance, though, that's like, you know, flipping a coin. All right, um, effective range of uh, four. Prepares for one round, has a 60% chance to deal 325% plus special ant level times two damage to all enemy squads and heals all of our squads with it with a healing ratio of 400. Okay, so the, the healing in this game is kind of, it's broken, it doesn't work. So that, that doesn't really, uh, light me up um 400 though i don't believe that any other ant has the possibility of going that high so maybe then you'll actually see something um six percent chance to 325 plus so you know anywhere from 650 on uh, six percent chance yeah it's all right um yeah okay so next defense uh um effective range two when this special ant uh, squad releases a combat skill has a hundred percent chance to increase the attack and defense of all of our squads by 30 percent can be stacked oh wow if the skill requires preparation increase the control resistance immune to suppress disarm silence chaos effect of all of our squads by 25 percent okay so now this this ant just went from a meh ant to being a pretty decent ant, um, mostly for this skill. Now, that one's good, but this is definitely like a full um, support. Uh, it's not really going to do much in damaging. It has a little bit of healing in there, but healing is, like I said, I'm not a fan of healing. But this ability to increase the control resistance and increase the attack of all of our... Um, squads by 30 percent that's pretty insignificant so even though it's a, only like a 50 and a 60 percent chance of releasing any of its damage slash support skills that it has um having a hundred percent chance of every time that it does releasing this makes it turns it from a kind of crap ant that i was thinking into a very good ant um now the only problem with it is because effective range Four, effective range uh, two, effective range four. So you would most likely want to be having it in the second row. Um, you could put it in the front, front row, but it also has the chance of dying first because it's not really able to counter all that much. So it'd probably be a, a second row ant. Anyway, uh, I do believe this pretty much sums it up. Uh, if you guys got any questions or if you happen to have one of these ants, I would love to see some statistics on it. Please br bring it to the Discord, show me. Um, would love to see any reports on it and uh, Agnes out we'll see you in the next one